Under Rule 14A, Section 8I, Subsection of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934, or the Election Exclusion, a corporation can exclude a shareholder proposal from its proxy materials that relates to an election for membership on the corporation's board of directors. In the 2006 case American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees versus American International Group, the Second Circuit considered whether this rule allowed a corporation to exclude a proposal that would place shareholder-nominated board candidates onto the corporation's proxy materials. AFSCME is one of the largest public service employees' unions in the United States. AIG is a multinational publicly traded corporation operating in the insurance and financial services sector. In 2004, AFSCME held nearly 27,000 shares of stock in AIG through its pension plan. Also in 2004, AFSCME submitted a shareholder proposal that would require AIG to publish the names of shareholder-nominated candidates for director positions in its proxy materials. At the time, AIG only included director-nominated candidates in its proxy materials. In response, AIG obtained a no-action letter from the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, Division of Corporate Finance, stating that the division wouldn't recommend enforcement action to the SEC if AIG excluded the proposal. Based on the letter, AIG chose to exclude AFSCME's proposal. Subsequently, AFSCME sued AIG in United States District Court for the Southern District of New York, seeking to compel AIG to include the proposal in its next proxy statement. In addition, AFSCME moved for a preliminary injunction to prevent AIG from excluding the proposal. The district court denied the motion, concluding that AFSCME's proposal related to an election for membership on AIG's board of directors and was therefore excludable under the Exchange Act. Pursuant to the party's joint stipulation, the court then entered a final judgment denying AFSCME's claim for declaratory and injunctive relief and dismissing its complaint. AFSCME appealed to the Second Circuit.